In this video, you will learn how to invite a participant to share in your safelyfiled.com account. When you log into your account, simply hover over the My Account link at the top of the page and select Manage Sharing. This will take you to our Manage Sharing page. If you've invited participants in the past, their names will be listed here along with the role that you've assigned them, their expiration date, and you have the ability to remove them by selecting the trash can icon here on the right. But if you've never invited anyone previously, the only thing you'll see in this section is the Invite New Participant link here. Simply click on this link and it'll walk you through a four-step process. For example, today we're going to invite Gomer Pyle to our account. We're going to add his name, his phone number, and a valid email address. This email address is where the invite will be sent to. We have experience where our emails will end up in a spam folder. So if a participant says they never received your invite, ask them to check their spam folder to see if it's there. Once you've filled out these fields, you would hit Next. The second step is to assign a role to your participant. For a better understanding of what all the roles can do, you can access our user guide, but for a quick synopsis, you can hover over the little question marks here. An authorized professional can view, upload, and download shared documents. A guest can only view shared folders or documents. An associate, however, can do everything on your account with those documents that you've shared with them except for delete. A co-member has the exact same privileges on the account that you do. We highly recommend that you only invite one or at the most two co-members for your account. And they be people that you fully trust in the event they need to take action on your behalf. For example here, we're going to assign Gomer Pyle the role of associate and select next. The third step is to choose an expiration date for your invitee. You can choose a date anywhere in the future from 24 hours from now till many years in the future. Or you can set them to never expire. Choosing an expiration date would be a handy tool to use in the event you invite, say, your tax accountant during tax season so they can access your tax receipts and they can upload your tax files for you directly into your account. And then after, say, a month or so, their account will be automatically deleted so they no longer can access you. And this keeps you from having to try to remember to go back and clear out your participant list. For our example today though, we're going to assign Gomer as never expiring and then select save. There's the fourth and final step and that is going back to your document management page and specifying which folders or documents that you want this participant to have access to. You can do this later, but we highly recommend that you do this now. So we'll go back to your document management page and select the folder or file that we want to share with Gomer. In our example today, we're going to choose the folder file. That means if I give access to Gomer to this folder file, he has access to all of these files underneath. Keep that in mind because if you select the My Files folder and give access to someone at this level, then they have access to all the folders and files that are listed underneath that level. So we'll go back to our folders file. We'll go over to Manage on the right hand side of the screen. And now we see that Gomer has been added as an option of someone we could share this folder with. So we'll select him by clicking on his name which shows now he has a check mark, and the little icons to the right of his name are now activated. We can further define what activity we want to allow Gomer to take on our photos folder by clicking or deselecting each of these icons. To understand what each of these different icons are, just simply hover over the icon that's in yellow at the top. So say we want to give Gomer access to everything except for permission to change the sharing on this document or folder. So we will click that, notice it grays out, and so now Gomer cannot set any other sharing on this folder. Then we hit save. You'll notice that under our sharing 
section, Now Gomer shows up as having access to the photos file. If we click on a different folder that we've not given him access to, you'll notice his name is not here. We can also go to a folder that we have previously given access to someone and remove them. Simply click on the Manage button, choose who you'd like to remove, and say we want to take Opie off and add Aunt B and then hit Save. Now on our home folder you see Aunt B has access and Opie does not. And that's pretty much it. At any time you can go to any folder or even down to the file level and give different people access at different levels and at different times.